Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Komal Kavar Shekhavat and I hope you all are doing great. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to run vector autoregression Granger causality test. That is VAR Granger causality test. So let's get started. So first of all, you have to import your data file in eViews. And you can see this is my data file and I'm dealing with two variables here. One is GSDP, that is cross state domestic product. And the other one is social sector expenditure, right? So I have these variables in their log forms, okay? And I want to check whether there is any Granger causality between these two variables or not. All right, so first, Select your dependent variable followed by the independent variable using the control key and then open these variables as group. Okay, so this is the data set. Now to run the Granger causality test, first click on view and locate for the option Granger causality. Select this and select specification dialog box has appeared so the automatic like selection here is two so i'll proceed with the default and then click on ok all right so this is the result for granger causality test as you can see the sample is from 1980 to 2021 lacks included are two now in case of granger causality test the null hypothesis is that SSE does not Granger cause GSTP or GSTP does not Granger cause SSE, right? So this is the null hypothesis in case of Granger causality test. Next is the F statistics value and the probability value, right? So if you are taking into consideration 5% level of significance, then you will interpret the results accordingly. So you can take level of significance 1%, 5% or 10%, okay? So I'm proceeding with 10% level of significance. So if this probability value is less than 10% level of significance, then we reject the null hypothesis, okay? So looking at the first one, the probability value is 0 0.06, which is less than 0 0.10. That is the 10% level of significance. So, I reject the null hypothesis. This means I am rejecting that SSE does not Granger cause GSTP, meaning SSE Granger causes GSTP. This is the first observation from the Granger causality test. Moving to the second null hypothesis, it states that GSTP does not Granger cause SSE. The probability value is greater than 10% level of significance. So I do not reject the null hypothesis. This means that GSTP does not Granger cause SSC. So the conclusion from the Granger causality test is that SSC Granger causes GSTP, but GSTP does not Granger causes SSC, right? Now, once you have performed the Granger causality test, you can also run the plot exogeneity void test. This method is another method to check causality between the variables. It is a better technique to determine the causality between the variables. Under this block exogeneity void test, an endogenous variable can be treated as exogenous variable. And this block exogeneity ball test is based on pi square ball statistics. Okay, so let's proceed with the block exogeneity ball test. You can close this window. Now, moving to the block exogeneity ball test, first select your concern variables and then open these variables as var. Okay. Now, you will see this VAR specification dialog box. So, the VAR type is, I am proceeding with standard VAR and the estimation sample, as we know that, it is from 1980 to 2021, right? Now, in the endogenous variable box, 
we have two endogenous variables. One is cross state domestic product, another one is social sector expenditure. Right. So, before performing the block exogeneity ball test, you need to check the stationarity of your variables. If your variables are stationary at difference, then you have to put the difference of the endogenous variables in this box. So, I have checked for the unit root of the variables and both these variables, GSTP and SSE, are stationary at first difference. Okay, so if your variables are stationary at first difference, you have to mention the first difference of the variables like this. You have to put D and the difference of both the variables. All right. So checking stationarity of the variables is very important here. The next is the lag intervals for endogenous variables. By default, it is considering lag 1 and 2 for the variables. However, there is a way to check for appropriate lag for the VAR specification. I have already uploaded a video on VAR model and there in, in that video, I have thoroughly explained how you can find out appropriate lag for your concerned variables. So, do watch that video so that you can Determine the length for endogenous variables. The last box is for the exogenous variables. C here is for the constant. And if you are dealing with any dummy variables, those dummy variables will be mentioned in this box. Okay. So once you are done with the VAR specification, click on OK. All right. So, these are the results for vector autoregression estimates. But we have to perform the block exogeneity bond test. So, for that, once you have obtained the vector autoregression estimates, click on view and move to the lag structure option. And afterwards, select Granger causality block exogeneity test. Now, these are the results for Granger causality block exogeneity bond test. The total number of observations included is 40. Now, there are two cases. In case first, the dependent variable is GSTP and the independent is SSE. In the second case, the dependent variable is social sector expenditure and the independent variable is cross state domestic product. Right? Now, how to interpret these results? So, the null hypothesis in case of this technique is that the independent variable does not Granger causes dependent variable. Okay. So, if we look at the first case, the null hypothesis is that this independent variable, which is SSE, does not Granger cause the dependent variable, which is GSTP. Okay. Now, we have check for the probability value to come at the conclusion. So, you can take 1%, 5% or 10% level of significance and if the probability value is less than 5% level of significance, so we reject the null hypothesis. In this case, the probability value is 0 0.03 which is less than 0 0.05 and it is also less than 10% level of significance. So, we reject the null hypothesis. That is, we are rejecting that independent variable does not Granger cause dependent variable. So, the conclusion is that the independent variable, which is SSE, it Granger causes GSTP, right? Now, coming to the second case, here the probability value is greater than 5% or it is even greater than 10% level of significance. So, this means that we do not reject the null hypothesis and we conclude that GSTP does not Granger cause SSE.
So the conclusion from the block exogeneity ball test is that SAC Granger causes GSTP, but GSTP does not Granger cause SAC. Okay. Same results were obtained from the Granger causality test. So, block exogeneity ball test, we can say, is a, another technique or a robust measure to identify whether the variables Granger causes each other or not. Okay, and this is how you can interpret your results. So, block exogeneity ball test concludes with the similar findings as that were obtained in the Granger causality VAR test. To run the VAR model, you need to ensure that your variables are stationary at first difference. If your variables are co integrated with each other at level, then you need to perform the vector error correction model that is VECM model. Okay, so in case of co integration between the variables, you have to proceed with VECM model. And if your variables are stationary at first difference, then you can run the VAR Granger causality test. I have already uploaded videos on VAR model as well as on VECM model. So do watch those videos also and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.